So I got this compass in the mail, and Mr. Patchrayer told me that he's got something in store for us. These must be it. So this is called the Patch Phone. The very first phone to ever exist in Minecraft. And it costs a stack of emeralds. So, Mr. Patch, here is your stack of emeralds. And we shall take a look at this phone. If you enjoyed this video, then consider subscribing as it helps out quite a bit and shows your support for the channel. Thank you. So this is how you can make your own phone. You need some iron, a glass pane, an ink sack, and redstone dust. And go ahead and put them in the crafter table in this order and then you got yourself a smartphone. Now when you first get this phone, it's going to be on a sign. So you're going to need to interact and once you do that, then it should be assigned to you. And by default, you're only going to have two options. You have settings and you have app store. Inside the settings section, you only have a back button and enable notifications. And now once you go over to the app store, you're going to have to pay money for these apps. And in order to do that, just go over to bank and it should now purchase it. And when you go back to the home page, you will find yourself the bank app. You can transfer money to other players or you can deposit money. When you click on deposit money, then you can trade in iron ingots, gold ingots, diamonds or even emeralds. The iron ingots give you the less amount of money which is only 10, gold gives you $25, diamonds $50, and emeralds $100. So the emeralds are definitely going to be very valuable. So now that I got myself some emeralds, I'm going to go ahead and get myself some money here. So about $300 is going to be just enough for you to get all the different apps. But let's go ahead and see what kind of apps that we got. So we have a store app, we got Spotcraft, Day and Night, weather, effects, and discraft. We're going to begin with the store. So from within the store app, you can purchase items and blocks. But however, the blocks is coming soon. From within the item section, you can purchase the food items, all the mob drops, the different armors, and the tools. But the only complaint that I have is with the armors. So if I select the armor section and I were to choose iron armor, it doesn't tell you how much each piece is. But however, if I were to choose foods or even mob drops, it will in fact tell me on which each thing is. And the same thing goes for the tools. It does not tell you on which each thing is. So that definitely needs to be a thing the creator needs to fix. But let's go and move on to the next app, which is Spotcraft. Now from within this app, it lets you play any music disc inside the game. And if you already have a tune playing, then you can click on stop music, then that track will stop playing. Our next app is day and night. You can change the time of day inside your world. So that is a very simple app. Another simple app is weather. From within the weather app, you can change the weather. And the next app is effects. From within the effects app, you can give yourself a different effect inside the game. And these are not your ordinary effects though. Like if I were to choose speed, like look how fast we're running. This is not your ordinary speed effect. But let's go ahead and take a look at the final app, which is called Discraft. From within the Discraft app, you can message a different player inside your world. So if you have multiple friends inside your world and you want to message them privately, then this is going to be good for that. But first off, you have to choose the player that you want to message. So if you have your friends inside the world, then they're going to show up inside this list. And then go down and type out your message to your friend, then click submit. And that's basically it for what this phone adds in store. And I think the creator did a really great job with this. And if you guys want to get this add-on, there will be a link in the description. If you enjoyed today's video, so please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're around here, and I've got you next time. Goodbye.